I always describe the cigar as an instrument of pleasure and friendship. It does give you pleasure, no doubt about that. How do you describe smoking a cigar? It's relaxing, it's uh, calming. Nothing I like more after a long day of hard work. Sometimes we can overthink what a cigar is when you're describing its physical characteristics, but it's emotive, it's, um, it's nostalgic qualities are extraordinary. And there's many, many occasions where a non-cigar smoker will walk into our shop and go, and you can see they're being transported to their childhood, their father, their grandfather, someone significant in their life who, who perhaps enjoyed cigars or tobacco. Someone takes the trouble, the expense, the time to enjoy a cigar. It says a lot about their qualities. Uh, to use a, a tired word, perhaps as a gentleman, but really, they share qualities that we appreciate, that we value. Uh, nine times out of ten, it's true.
people who smoke cigars, they, they kind of choose how long they're going to be sitting and relaxing. Because a cigar smoke is not like, you know, if you watch people who smoke cigarettes, it's a different world. They're outside, they smoke real fast, puff, puff, puff. When you smoke a cigar, it's time to relax. So let's talk about the cigar, let's talk about how big it is going to be. Number one, this isn't an activity that you do for anything else than enjoyment. So you've got to like the idea of smoking. You've got to like the idea of relaxing because this is not something you can do in a hurry. A cigar needs time, it needs patience, but it also needs relaxation. Cigar smoked relaxed is an incredible enjoyment. A cigar smoked rushed is a terrible waste of opportunity. And life's not a dress rehearsal. We're here for a certain short period of time on this earth. And we've got to enjoy it the time that we're here. So my papa, I call him my papa, he was an old school, he was so old school. Your grandfather. My grandfather. Mm -hmm. And he always kept a cigar. And we're on the boat one day, and I asked him, I said, I said, Papa, why do you keep a cigar in your mouth? And he says, the day you figure out why I keep a cigar in my mouth is the day you figure out man. That cigar. He said, You ain't figured it out yet. And no, I ain't figured it out yet. Three days later, 
I get the call, he ended up dying. And so a friend of mine called me and said, hey man, I'm at this little spot. He said, man, try this cigar. It was a Padron. I got to my last puff. Mm. Tears started rolling down my eyes. He was like, what's, what's, what's going on, man? I was just laying back. And I started reflecting on everything that I had did with my grandfather. And I said, now I know it. Right? And cigars for me, every day from that moment became my getaway. Became an isolated moment that every man needs. Not in life. Every day in the course of 24 hours, every man needs a point of renewal. Cigars renew me because when I smoke a cigar, I meditate on what has happened, what hasn't happened, what's about to happen, what needs to happen. beautiful cigar. Of course you have to be patient, you have to find the right place to grow the seeds, you have to keep the cigar leaves properly and ferment them properly. They go through maybe 200 hands before they reach my lips. For me it's very similar to watches. And so the two combine very easily. I always describe the cigar as an instrument of pleasure and friendship. It does give you pleasure, no doubt about that.